deploy a direct air capture plant that will capture between 0.5 and 1 megaton of carbon dioxide per year um, up in North East Scotland. Um, when I say it's really exciting, what we've recently announced is pre-feed and that's the first stage of detailed engineering on this project and it's a significant milestone in, in progressing the project. I think it's, it, it's a great milestone for the UK. Um, first direct air capture plant in the UK. It, it's going to be the, the more expensive end of carbon capture and for that reason we need to locate the plant right close to infrastructure which is very cost effective and the ACORN project up in Scotland offers that location because the pipelines are already there. There's, there's probably three quarters of a million pounds worth of pipeline in the water now available for reuse which if it wasn't there we would have to build again. So the location, really, the starting point is because it's cost effective. The encouraging thing is we're already speaking with potential customers who have an interest in, in offsetting some of their emissions and it, the interest ranges from right across the spectrum of business, from airlines through to um, public services, um, and the uh, finance sector, engineering houses, a whole range of different applications. company from the start was how do you become climate relevant? Climate relevant is gigaton scale, you know, billions of tons of carbon dioxide uh, captured from the air per year by 2050. So that is, that is very much the aim, um, be climate relevant. For us looking at 2050, we, we worked backwards to 2020 and we said, if you want to be a billion tons then, you really want to be deploying it megaton scale, million tons in the 2020s. Um, so that's the way that we're getting there. I think I would say that our business model has been to license our technology. Um, part of the reason for that is that we can't do that journey alone. Getting to hundreds of thousands of plants alone, it's just not possible. We need to work with partners that have those skill sets and have that experience to deploy it. So that's sort of our way to get there.